to do a concert in a week. And that's like so that's so messed up, day two. <sighs> Jesus. So Arthur has been planning all this without even telling her, but writing it on a little note. You know, could have just said it straight to my face, at least, so you know, can be prepared, you know, be emotionally and, you know, psychologically prepared for this. Not just say, oh, you have a, you have a concert within one week, make the song. And it's like, okay. But I never, I don't know how it, I don't know how it is for uh, composers if they actually go through that stress. Which, if I did, I would have been so done. But I guess I can't really handle stress that well. Well, usually when I'm under stress, I usually perform better, which is weird. It was just a dream. Just a dream. Arthur. I was finally with you, but I wouldn't know. I have to write this comp composition, but how to start? Hmm. Come on, Wilma, concentrate. You've done this before. Anything could be an inspiration. Anything. Anything. Poetry. My favorite poem is in here. The Panther by Rainer Maria Reilich. His gaze against the sweeping of the bars has grown so weary it can hold no more. To him, there seem to be a thousand bars. A backhand, oh, back, a back behind those thousand bars, no world. A dark, strong beast trapped in a cage. The sound of a secluded piano. Beneath it, silence. Hmm. Whoa! What was that? I can't hear melodies in this din. There are several noises. I can't. A mighty booming, a bloody, a blood curdling squealing, a relentless cr creaking. I can only create melodies if I have silence. Perhaps I can silence the noises black them out. I have to try. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's totally annoying. I can't hear melodies in this din. There are cell phone... Okay, I can't. I might, yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, all these noises are distracting. Oh my god. That support beam. Music sheets, unfashioned composition, letters. Yo, let's look at the letters. A pile of letters, address to Arthur. Should we, should I read them? Congratulations. My dear Professor Cabin, I would like to congratulate you. I had the honor to listen to a minor concert by your student, Wilma Dovo in the saloon recently. Many in the audience seemed bewildered at first. Whom excuses my expression you have in tow? In tow. Uh, read on. There have been so many child prodigies, but this was different. As this young composer's music played, I couldn't quite believe my ears. But soon the strength of her music became clear to all, but at the same time, illegitimate, as did mine. Wait right on. My, my heartiest congratulations. You must be very proud. 
you have brought forth the brightness of shines from the raw diamond. I will be eager to hear her next composition, her composer. Until then, be so kind as to send my best regards to your young artist, your friend, Gust Gustav. Uh, admiration. Professor Cabin. I hope you may recall the stimulating decisions we had recently in the saloon. My name is Gernet Long Kuzak, Kuzak, and I'm a frequent visitor there. Some mistaken me for a critic. I'm not. But I would describe myself rather as an inter intermediary. I unite creative vines, promote the exchange of ideas, and uh, in this cult culturally exhilarating time. Okay, the noise is really getting to me. <laughs> it's just like, please, <laughs> like, like many, I am great admire. I'm a great admirer of your early work. I have been following your in in its in activities regarding modern music and they and the young student who performed for us today is a most promising talent i hoped we could continue our discussions at your convenience of course yours in anticipation garnet granite lawn wick zack uh, my dear arthur i am writing to you in the knowledge that, like me, you are a great admirer of every kind of art. Sadly, I know you missed a recent ex exhibition in the saloon. The artist was a young man named Franz Marker. His paintings are very special. Portraits, but none like you will ever have seen. They somehow capture every facet, wait, faucet of a person. When I saw them, I immediately thought of you. Luckily, I've managed to acquire one or two of his works. I'd like you to see them and tell me your opinion. To be honest, they remind me of the new music you are pursuing, and they are erotic and, and very both special way male and female both i would be very in interested to know what you think of them your friend mf mf all the praise there are no sketches here they must be in vienna partner i got an achievement called all the praise i guess maybe i will read more later what else we have here? We got tone of tone. I can't hear what the melodies in this then. Okay, yeah, I know. Only if I block them out. Composition, original sheets, cabinet door, locks, of course. Support beam. The wind rattles the cabin. The beam creaks. The fibers in the wood bend and snap. The noise blurs, it fades away. We could, oh, what's in the drawer? Dusty, but empty. Aw, oh, damn, I thought, I thought the key would be in the drawer, honestly. My bag. I don't need anything in my bag now. Position. Uh, Alright, what if we open? Perhaps I can silence the noise. Lock them out. I have to try. Alright, let's. In the valley, the storm rages. With all this howling wind and thundering rain, how can I concentrate? Perhaps I can block out the noise of the storm. Did we block them out? Oh, no, we sat outside. The booming comes from outside. The rain and the wind are so loud. I'm glad I don't have to be out there. Flowers. Keith. 
key flowers. Why did he plant them here? can't tell from here where the telephone lines go. Forest. Thick forest. It's a wonder I didn't get lost. Rain. But each drop of water falls far... Wait, falls from so far above. Forming quietly, the droplet whooshes. Downwards, falling at last, at last to earth. Thundering on leaves, grass, stones, from there to my ears, the sound blurs and fades away, and suddenly it is quieter. Oh. Interesting. Uh, what else can we click on? Mountains. The mountains loom high above me. Vienna is somewhere beyond the mountains. Home is even farther. Swath. The path I came here by, it leads to a mountain pass. I think that's it. Uh, if there's nothing else... Yeah, let's, let's go inside. We've already done good here. <sighs> I'm sorry if, like, the, um, the volume's too loud. Hopefully it's not, like, too loud in the recording. It shouldn't be, because my voice is louder. Yeah, it's, it's alright. Uh, alright, let me get rid of that. Um... Puff it, man. A lamp! The squeaking noises gets under her skin. It's back again. Always audible, even when it isn't. I can block it out. I know I can. The noise slowly fades, blurs, dissolves, and is gone. All right, nice. Finally, I can start writing. Um, can we, can we not? Can we just? Look at a book. Arthur writes here about a phenomenon he calls tonal diversity. By building certain relationships between the notes, the same note can suddenly sound quite different, quite different when heard again. It seems as if Arthur is talking to her directly. His writing is so clear, so similar to the way he speaks. She imagines him lecturing to his students. He passes not once, but many times. But he turns to her and smiles. Wilma focuses on his intentional and here actions. Uh, pleasurable surprise every time it happens. Uh, probably lovely smile, I guess. She feels worn by his smile, as if only she could see it. A shimmering chord, and no, and now a part of the composition. Is that it? Okay. Um, let's pick up the phone. Uh, and block out the ringing. Can we actually do that? Can we say no? All right, let's pick it up. Hello. Wilma? It's me, Lo- um, what did I call him? Luis? Lois? Leos? Le Leos. You remember me, yes? Yes, of course. Why are you calling? I, well, to be honest, I wanted to hear your voice again. Last time we talked about me, my niece, and about my dumplings. But I never asked about you. That was rude of me. Uh, you wanted to hear my voice, why? Your niece? Your niece? Nicole, yes. Some years ago, my sister and her husband asked me to look after her. 
they travel much of the year, but they do not believe she is strong enough to join them. Well, I tried to look after her, but... Where is she now? What happened? I just couldn't imagine. I mean, I love her. We are... We are very... We were very close. But running the inn and taking care of her, I couldn't do both at the same time. So she went to her parents' house, parents in Vina. Really? But I think things are better this way. Is it better for you? Do you miss Nicole? Who looks after Nicole while her parents travel? She lives in Vina now? Uh, do you miss Nicole? Do you miss Nicole? Yes. She is like a daughter to me. Um, is it better for you? I'm not sure. I like to think so, yes. Who looks after Nicole? Who looks after Nicole while her parents travel? A governess, I think. A certain Fru Shramal. I don't know her. Uh, why don't you call Nicole? I want to. That's the very reason why I got this machine. And then, well, you picked up. But I'm not completely sure it's a good idea. Right, you should do it. You shouldn't do it. You should do it! You should do it. You think so? If you didn't, you might regret it. I, every hour, minute, and second that passes. Keeping your feelings from someone you love is something you may regret later. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I can. Make it up to her somehow. But enough about me. What about you? Do you have a family? What is your profession? Uh, my profession. My profession? I write music. Like a composer? Yes, I study composition. Any songs I would know? Not really, no. I just... I've just started to make a name in Vina. What are you doing in the mountains? Uh, I said moment you'll find inspiration here. Trying to find my muse. She's hiding from me. Wasting my time. Trying to find... It's not... Well, it's not certainly wasting her time. I mean... She is finding inspiration from the things that we are clicking on. So she read the poem and all that. Um, so I would just... My mentor said inspiration there. My mentor said, Wilma, you'll find inspiration there. And is it working? There's a storm. It's raining. I feel trapped. Oh. For a moment, she hears a melody. Wait, what was that? What? I thought I heard something. You heard something just now? I did. What did you hear? A melody. I don't understand. Can you do it? Can you do that again? Do what again? Uh, keep talking. Fine. I am talking to you, Wilma. I will try to keep going, but I don't know what to talk about, so should I perhaps tell you about my dumplings again? I told you something about me. My profession. Yes, you are a musician. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. She's getting her inspiration from um, the other side of the world. That's cool. Yes, that's it. What? 
The melody. I can hear the melody. Well, quick, write it down. Goodbye. Right. The notes disappear. Oh no, I nearly had it. I need to give the melody some time. It is quiet. So, I guess that was like part of the melody that she heard in her head. And suddenly, she hears the sound of his voice again. Thank you, Leos. I can barely keep my eyes open. And we're gonna fall asleep, aren't we? Just, you're just gonna pass out. I'm sorry. I know it's not funny, but it's just like every time she does that, it's like she just gets knocked out. It's... Whoa, what the hell? It's cold. Um... And wet. Huh? Where am I? Kinda of loud for me. Rain? A well? Why? Why can't I move? I can't move. I'm paralyzed. Oh, yeah. Uh, I hate those types of dreams where you just, like, like stand or lay there and you can't move your body within the dream. That really... It sometimes happened to me when I wake up and I can't, like, move my body at all. Like, it's just, like... I forgot. I don't know what it's called. But it's, like, when you wake up and your body can still not move, but your, like, mind is, like, awake... It's, I forgot what it's called, but it's really, it's really weird. They have drawings of it on Google, and it's so weird. Oh, the sound. Uh, the water. The water is rising fast, and I can't move. Stones. Water drips down the stones. Damn stones. I can't get out that way. Opening. The rain, the water, is rising. My feet, the mud, grips them like dead hands. Oh god, it is rising. I've got to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Hello? Is someone down there? Person. Uh, help! Is anyone down there? Yes, down here. The rain is too loud. I can't hear you. Get me out of here! Can you climb up? No! Oh god, the water! Please! My feet are stuck in the mud! So how did you get down there? No, no time to explain! Um, I, I must have fallen! I must have fallen in! Don't panic. Hmm, it's a difficult problem. No, duh! The water is rising! Please do something! The stones are slippery. I don't want to fall in. Wait there, Wilma. I'll try to keep get help. Don't go! I can't hear you. I will try to find help. Uh, uh, is it... Arthur? Uh, Arthur?